What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying a pattern that I call the Bruiser Jig. So to start out I'm using a 1 16th ounce jig head. I've powder painted that with Protec Black and we're using a 70 denier UTC Ultra Thread. We're just going to tie that down to the point of the hook from the head. For the tail we're going to be using one red craft feather. So we're just going to make that nice and straight. We're going to measure it out so it's a little longer than the length of the hook. I like to do the craft feather tails a little bit longer just because it looks nicer. We're going to tie that down nice and tight. Once you've got a few good turns you can let go of that and tie the feather up the rest of the way. And once you've got your feather up to the head you can cut the butt end. Go over those little frilly bits and then you can take your thread back down to the tail. Alright for the second part of the tail we're going to be using some hot red mono flash to give it some sparkle. So I'm just going to take a few pieces of that and just fold it over a couple times and just tie it in right at the tail. I like to tie that right here because this is actually the bottom of the jig when it's being fished and the crappie look at it from the bottom up so they'll see that flash. We're just going to tie those fibers up to the head, keep your thread tight. And then you can clip off that mono flash once you get there. Now we can bring our thread back down to the tail. Now we're going to cut our mono flash to length, so just stick your scissors in the loop, cut it, and then cut it to length, cut it about the length of the tail. Then we're going to take about half of those on each side and just press them down so that they're slightly on the side. This makes it so that the fish can see it from the side and the bottom. Once you got it where you want it, you can give it a couple good wraps there and then bring your thread back up to the head. For the body we're going to be using this black and red chenille. Just take a piece of that and tie the tag end at the head. Wind the rest of the chenille back down to the tail. Once you got it there bring your thread back up to the head. Then you can start winding your chenille. Just make sure the tail doesn't get caught up in your wraps. Make sure it's out of the way. Keep your wraps tight, don't let go of the chenille at all. You want it to have a nice even body. Just wrap that up to the head. We're going to do one more wrap. That looks good, so we're going to tie that down tight. Give it four or five really tight turns and a turn in front of the chenille. And then you can clip it off. And now we're going to whip finish. Five or six turn whip finish as always. Pull your thread tight and cut your thread. So as you can see it's a really simple pattern. Sometimes I like to use the craft feathers for the tail just because I use marabou so much. This just gives the fish something they don't see every day which is always a good thing. And it's always fun to tie with different materials once in a while. Give this one a try and see if you like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. See you next time.